the YouTube requested the male loneliness one. So we are watching it. And I'm ready to call out hoes. <laughs> Oh, loneliness epidemic. I'm not alone for now, Lamau. Oh, YouTube ads. Perfect to inform you, the men are not okay. That's right, no! folks. The men are not okay. The men have no friends, Is no the audio okay? No audio okay, guys? Is it loud enough? Should I make it louder? Okay, awesome. No college education, no money, are breaking their legs and inserting metal rods into their bones to be a few inches taller, and listening to AI Batman help them overcome their pornography addictions. You deserve real love. Turns out the Aww. society that was built by and allegedly for men has indeed let them down. Now you might be thinking, oh look, another boo-hoo poor men video by Shoe on Head. Yes. <laughs> And if you have a problem with that, tune into literally anything else. True! If you have a problem with it, go watch something else. Men are in a crisis, and it seems nobody Yo, really energy. cares. And the people who do care just seem like the people who want to sell them shit. Not me. I'm different. So before we get into this, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. <laughs> today's sponsor is Holtzgern. Holtzgern is a young Austrian company that designs unique crafted watches. Sorry, I just have to interrupt. As a German, it's pronounced Holtzkern. Now you all know. Now you're all educated. Let's move on. Is in jewelry made from all natural materials. Their high quality timepieces come in various designs for both men and women, making them the perfect gift for any occasion. They're a great blend of function and fashion, and overall I just think they look very classy, especially the men's watch collection. I was pretty impressed with the silver casing and blue marble dial of the Naturalist watch, which made for a great gift for my boyfriend. He especially loved the casual yet stylish appearance, making it an ideal choice to wear Looking both at stylish, work but why would you need a watch I'm also really happy now. with the watch I picked out. It's made from black and white marble Devil. and features a nice black leather bracelet that just feels so comfy. They also create elegantly crafted earrings, very unique handbags, wait, 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 wait. Those were pretty. and necklaces. Wait, those were pretty though. Here's a nice black leather bracelet that just feels so comfy. They also create ele Yo, the ones on the top left are so pretty. What the fuck? Elegantly crafted earrings, very unique handbags, sunglasses, and Which necklaces. Just for style. Like uh, this rose marble elevation necklace. It makes a really memorable and unique gift for a loved one. All of their products yeah. have a 24 month warranty, and ordering online is super easy with free shipping to the US and most EU countries within two to five days. So, if you want to get yourself a good quality watch and support the channel, I highly recommend checking out their store and clicking the link in the description below. Use my special code SHOE15 at checkout that will give you 15% off for all products store wide. So, go to the link down below and what choose your own tell unique the time. piece of nature. <laughs> thank you, Holt, no. for sponsoring this video. and thank Thank you, the viewer, Thanks, as always, for not Thank skipping you. the ad. Why are men and boys struggling? And what should we do about it? A few new studies have come out that have shown that young men are more lonely and single than ever before. But it's not just men. The women and children, too. It's predicted 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. But according to the media, this is a good thing. The economy is booming. She economy? And meanwhile, men being single is treated like this. New study explains why some single men are having a hard time finding a new partner. Some of the music that they listen to speaks very derogatory. Right. Yeah, men, stop listening to that derogatory music. Then maybe you won't be single. I don't yeah, know. I think sense. men and women being single and lonely kind of shows there might be something wrong uh, with society. Perhaps we should address this, not just wave it off as empowering or pathetic. According to several different articles, I love how that's my source. I read about it on the internet. Research shows that people from individualist What's countries your source? show Trust a greater me, sense of loneliness. This is linked to socioeconomic development, increased education, a shift towards white collar jobs, and urbanization. Japan also has an issue with loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people they call the hikikomori. Dude, 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 dude. That, that just reminds me of you guys ever seen? Excuse me. You guys ever seen um, those um, lap pillows? Like literally a pillow in the shape of a lap, of a woman's lap. If, 
originating from Japan. Oh my god. You guys ever seen that? Oh! That's the funniest shit ever. I don't know why that made me think of it. <laughs> yeah? Yay, I'm not crazy! I wasn't imagining it! <laughs> Did I say that right? I don't care. Basically, postmodern hermits. Mostly young men who completely withdraw from- Isn't that just called a neat? Or am I wrong? You could say that it slaps! From society, <laughs> like, secluding themselves no. in their rooms for months and years at a time. In 2010, yeah, there was an estimated 700,000 hikikomori in Japan. And today, it's estimated to be about 1.55 million. And because of things Holy like this, shit. people aren't having babies, so Japan's population has been in a sharp decline since 2011. It's gotten so bad that Japan even produces videos of live-action women staring into the camera to help the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact and reintegrate them back into society. So basically- I'm not gonna lie, that's fucking creepy. But- Imagine, like, literally just that frame. Literally just that as a video. Not gonna lie, anyone who just watches that, I swear, creepy. Videos of live-action women staring into the camera to help inclusive. the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact and reintegrate them back oh, into society. I see. So basically, if you want to know about yeah, the future, look no further than Japan. A lot of people, including myself, blame this partially on the rise of social media and technology. R.I.P. to the king. Although technology makes- So aren't you gonna make one kiss? <laughs> um... So about the gold question mark? <laughs> Just me staring into the camera. <laughs> Creepy yes, but if you have no social interactions at all, you take what you can get. I know. <laughs> oh, no. Makes things easier. It can also make us more atomized. Why go to the mall when I can just tap, 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 buy a new microphone and have it shipped to me in a day? Why hang out with friends when I can get all my social interaction I need from Twitter and streamers? Discord. Why go on dates and bother meeting women when I can just tap, 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 Google big boob and get two million results? Or see my high school crush's holes on OnlyFans for only five dollars? That reminds me of... Wasn't that in the last video where the teacher was subscribed to the old students, like no longer a student, only fans? Wasn't that in the last video? Oh my god. Kids are staring at the camera occasionally interrupted by Mike peeking screams at his <laughs> Yep, 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 it was. Oh god, dude. And him commenting A+. Plus. Bro, the shame! Instant dopamine, instant satisfaction, and hey, who even needs a real woman when you could just have an AI girlfriend? Mm -hmm. We're so f***ed. Dating apps really are the great Satan, and I'm convinced they've completely broken men's the, brains. The women on dating apps are picky. To... Women in general are picky, and I mean, naturally we are pickier. You know, we're the ones who carry the babies. At least for now. But on dating apps, you have to admit, it's a little insane. It's safe to say that the commodification of love and the window shopping of dating apps probably has to do a lot with the rise of lonely single men. Men are not just lonely when it comes to dating, they're lonely when it comes to friendship too. According to Vox, Americans are currently in a friendship recession and men are being hit the hardest. The percentage of men who reported having at least six close friendships fell in half since the 90s. One in five men wow. say they have no close friendships. Looking at all these statistics, the explosion of figures like Andrew Tate is not surprising at all. I believe. Chet, are you okay, Chet? Chet, do y'all need a hug? Do y'all need a hug, Chet? I feel so bad for you guys suddenly. I mean, I don't have a lot of friends either, to be fair, but no close friends? None?
Can we, can we spread some huggies? Can take you down some very dark places, God. I had two best friends in middle school to talk for a year and then they stopped. Oh. I'm fine, but the fact that I got super into VTubers again right after separating from my most recent girlfriend is probably a bad sign. Oh. Uh oh. I have close friends, but all of them are online, to be honest. I do <sighs> want to say if I have close friends, though. I've never had a friend IL personally. Oh. Ah, uh, I, mean, I had like one close IRL ever, or like two. But the first one I had, who was like my best friend through middle, like through early school at middle school, fucking stepped me in the back and started bullying me. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch ass looking ass. Literally, just suddenly after, after holidays, like after the holidays, literally stopped talking to me out of nowhere. Like what the fuck? Bitch, what did I do to you? Literally nothing. <sighs> Women are stupid. <laughs> most of my friends are online too. Yeah, same. Most of my friends are online too. Five minutes for, for, uh, I have a five minute walk to my closest friends. Haven't met them for five months. Oh god. We chat daily, however. Okay, okay. That's, that's fair. Don't always have to meet higher, uh, right? Online friends come. Yep, yep. Women, am I right? First, women coffee emoji. <laughs> we have one friend IRL to be honest. I have one friend IRL who I know from school, but like she has a job and she's busy and she's got a boyfriend. And like, I don't hang out too much anymore. But whenever we do talk or like meet up, it's like no time ever passed. So at least that's that. Make me believe people on the internet more. Yeah, like, honestly, I love the internet. All, like, overall, the internet, I love the internet, even though there's bad places on it. It's even wiggleable, like, that's, <laughs> that's it, holidays have ended. Like, I don't know. Like, well, it was either, either spring holidays or autumn holidays, and she just stopped speaking to me. Out of nowhere. And like, you know, we had two seats next to each other. But the tables, they were like solo tables. Usually they're pushed together. And that bitch, she just... Like in the morning, once I arrived, she like took her table and pushed it away from mine. Like, and to show her disgust, like, the fuck did I do? I just existed. What do you want? What did I do? Like, <laughs> what? Bitch ass looking ass. Who's a bitch? Um, a friend I had, like ex best friend, kind of an ex best ex best friend who turned into a bully in one middle school. That's who the bitch is. <laughs> so yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm over it now, but yeah. I have one friend that I talk to all the time, but after school, pretty much nothing. After we end school, I know what happens. Uh, yeah. I get that. When I was still working, like at work, it felt like I had like a couple friends when I was still at work, but like after I got fired from that job, literally no communication anymore. Literally, they stopped speaking to me. Like, okay, bro, I see how it is. It's all the same. It's the same everywhere, man. So fucking sad. How did you get fired by being socially anxious? I got so fucking um, deep into my uh, social anxiety that I couldn't leave my house, and ultimately that got me fired because I didn't show up to work. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's sad. And no, I didn't have doctor's notifications because I didn't go to the doctors because I was too scared. Oh, yeah. That's that. Well, that was years ago. I'm fine. Leave being a Plus, was fucked up my most middle. That, dude, children? Children have no filter. Meet fairies. Hugs are pretty much all vision of the handshake. So, what? Yeah, that's gonna happen on the other. Eh. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, let's go a couple seconds back. Figures like Andrew Tate is not- Children will do say what they- Children are going to say what they want. Like, absolutely no filter. That's how you know it's the truth. <laughs> they so many telling other kids to keep themselves safe. Surprising at all. I believe being a man is a blessing because it starts so difficult. I believe that every man is born without any value at all. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. And recently, a new study came out about how I young men guy. are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the liberal, sockdom, leftist, whatever you want to call this space online, performs the same song and dance. What's wrong <laughs> with men? School. Why is this happening? Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? We need to push men to the left. Andrew Tate rarely, if ever, talks about politics. Andrew Tate talks about men, and the left only talks about men when they talk about Andrew Tate. A few months ago, during one of the monthly song and dances, some progressive people I follow made the mistake of addressing men's issues, and the even bigger mistake of pointing their finger at their own spaces for not doing enough to address said men's issues. Recent Again? The reason young men flock to old right MR because the left gives brain that advice to young men. <laughs> we need to be more compassionate to them for our own sake. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Mistake of pointing their finger at their own spaces for not doing enough to address said men's issues. Recently, there were some statistics by healthcare company Cigna indicating that men are the loneliest generation. And addressing it doesn't mean that you turn your back on issues pertaining to women, but it does mean that we should be focused on what it is in society that is leading to this epidemic, what the left can do to offer solutions, and how we can basically fight back against the more nefarious figures who have filled the void. Uh, hey, yo. that, you know, men are struggling with, people like Jordan Peterson and what have you. Now, recently, uh, Vosh, who's a popular streamer, had tweeted this thread that I think is really, really important to address. He writes, I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand that 12-year-old white boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fascism because of some Machiavellian desire to preserve and expand their privileges. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. The responses to these I can't comment on that because I'm really not into politics and I don't know how that space looks like. I don't know if this is more of an American issue or not. Like the left and the right, like talking or rather not talking to men. I got no idea. Why does it have to be a political issue to begin with? Like, what the fuck? Like, why does this need to be about the left or the right? I said for years that I'm the most boring counterculture ever because I just don't care about a lot of common political topics and like environment. Same, like I never was into politics. I don't understand politics. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I don't. It needs to just be left or right. You uh, or Shredder or someone else uh, uh, assumes your alignment for you these days because God forbid you have an opinion of your own. The world is so messed up. But true, true, true. Oh god, there's a solar eclipse on. What? There's a solar eclipse? Is there solar eclipse going on? Yeah, like, wait, 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 wasn't there like a solar or a moon eclipse or something going on early April? If they complain, give them more rights at left. One, two. One, two, three. Left, right, left, right. Don't listen to Vosh. I don't even know who Vosh is. Not gonna lie, like who the fuck is Vosh? Also, welcome in Hunky. What up? These tweets and this content were very normal, level-headed, and respectful. Me when I lie. <laughs> Elameo, cry about it. <laughs> Boo f***ing who? Oh no, poor widow men having problems. Boo f***ing who? Grow the f*** up then. Have men considered being smarter? I'm enjoying all these sad little moids and their sad little tweets about their sad pathetic lives. Sounds like a personal problem. Is the lack of compassion for men in the room with us right now? Maybe men are just not good people then. I'm so f 
fucking tired of people trying to make male loneliness a huge societal problem. Yeah, no, their fifis are not my responsibility, and I shouldn't have to be punished because they can't get their shit together as human beings. Grow the f up. Why are we trying to win these entitled little predators over? The left isn't for them. That's why they go right in the first place. We're all EXCUSE ME! Did that person just call all men predators? Excuse me, what? Ozzy is a disease exploited in the loneliness of the people I care about just to try and look money out of them through an ineffective college and keep them lonely. Legit! Women like that aren't helping the problem. True! What? A little predator? Uh, like, okay, why are we trying to win these entitled little predators over? Like, what? What? Damn, women need to shut the fuck up. All these people complaining about sexism and racism and said, oh, the very thing they claim to be against. Actually, though. <laughs> Ignore the comment and not cry. No, don't cry, tiny boy. Don't, no. All lonely and alienated. It's young men going to the alt-right in droves. The problem isn't our messaging. It's them. Excuse it's me? No! It's you! The problem is literally this tweet! <laughs> that they got a jail channel if you're not preaching, and so basically they throw you into it so you can see other of what's getting W's. <laughs> Wait, what? A jail channel? <laughs> I'm the predator not sexual, obviously, as a nom 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 nom. As these women should say, grow up, legit. These women need to shut the fuck up. It doesn't take anyone with above average intelligence to figure that out. I mean, uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, it's about these people still can't figure it out. Stop being 48! <laughs> no! No! Small! It's literally not our problem. Men flock to Andrew Tate- Wait, 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 she didn't even read it all out. It's literally not our problem. We don't need to appeal to insults. Like, I agree, there are a lot of insults online, right? But not all men are insults. fuck? It's literally not our problem. Men flock- to Andrew Tate, not because they're lonely, but because they're bigots. Hope this helps. Nah, it's just misogynists being louder than before and not getting laid. LOL. Cry harder, losers. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. That's a man saying that. That's a man saying it. Like that. Unless it's a woman with a man as a profile picture. But let's say for now that it's them. That's a man saying that. What the fuck? Girls against his own gender. What the hell? It's an involuntary celibate. Men who are lonely involuntarily. Uh, sad that the original meaning of insul has lost meaning. He's a traitor, legit. The requirement to become an insul is interactions with women. Getting laid, lol. Cry harder, losers. Cry harder, percent of all. all homicides recorded worldwide were committed by male perpetrators. We should just get rid of all males, to be honest. This includes trans women, as they still retain male violence. By the way, you know the Tumblr feminists who were like, All men are sexist and rapist, male tears, penises are evil, blah blah blah, back in the day? Well, this is them now. Should've just let me cook back then. Listen up, chuckle <laughs> I'm white, socially awkward, autistic, in my 40s, ugly, okay. overweight, crippled, got a weird balding pattern, and have bad skin. You know what I didn't do? Choose to become a fascist. Because I recognize most of the sort that look like me are the problem. I may be hideously ugly and pathetic, but at least I'm not a fascist. Thank you for your input, buddy. You're, uh really help in the situation. The reason young men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them, for our own sake. I'm sorry, but how is respect women brain-dead advice? What advice? Don't rape? I 
I am speechless. Don't be a rapist is bad advice. Help, I have no friends or community. I feel suicidal. Um, have you considered not raping? Act like a decent fucking human being. It's not hard is brain dead advice. Brain dead. Apparently. Oh my god, I just read that it said Nazi. Oh lord, here we go. That advice like get consent and don't be a Nazi and women are people. Walking up to men struggling with loneliness and depression like Kids, don't be racist. <laughs> don't be racist is the advice for men to stop loneliness. If you're racist, you're lonely. Confirmed. Is this a commercial? Incredible. Yes. Here's my actual advice I would give to my teen boys as a leftist. One, always get enthusiastic consent. Two, save the planet. Three, don't say that. It's actually kind of racist. So, wait, wh huh? What's racist now? Are we getting political? Apparently. Like, uh, what's racist now? Being left or right is racist, though? Also, guys, remember? Save the planet. Second on the agenda, save the planet. Like... You children, you gotta teach your children. You, you, son, son. Save that planet. How, how do you save the planet? You, you stop talking to women. The rebel have entire kind of political view. <laughs> Go 3D. No, 2D. 2D women. 2D women are the best. <laughs> save the beast. That will fix everything. Actually, gotta save the beast, though. Actually. Being racist is racist, I swear. What do you mean? Being racist isn't racist. What the fuck? It's blasphemous. I don't have children, but I did work for a kindergarten. They liked me. Aww. Left or right? I'm out of, <laughs> out of the binary, bitch. <laughs> Who's being racist? Uh, apparently all of us. Uh, and especially men. Especially men are racist. Mm. Especially men. Jokes and you already don't speak to women. Yo, you're halfway there to saving the planet. Let's go. 2D women like this one. <laughs> yes. Wait, I'm the racist? Yes. Yes. All men are racist. Ugh. This is a joke. Bitch, YouTube, this is a joke. No one direction. That's straight the fuck ahead. <laughs> Ain't no stopping! Like, what the f is this? How does this address men and their issues? Yeah, it doesn't! It. Why does their advice always seem to be, become a liberal? Hey men, here's how to fix all your problems. Agree with me politically. Men flock to the MRA movement because they're the largest beneficiaries of MRA shit. Imagine saying women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Like Crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> how? Women want to support something that supports women. Crazy that men would like to do the same. I'm to shut down Twitter. <laughs> I only know one direction, no! <laughs> to be a race car driver or racist, for sure! <laughs> what? I come live with this tiny politics thing. Harry Styles, dude, Harry Styles makes oh. Like, no f***ing shit. Let's be honest, aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. Most women can what? find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there. And speaking as a So can man! But like, What's your point? Man, most of us are horrid to be around, and I don't blame any- Wait! Speaking as a man! Wait! It's a man saying that! Huh? The f MRA movement because they're the lo women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries so of women's rights. So we're breeding machines, yeah, apparently. No f***ing shit. Let's be honest. Aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. They, right? Like, 
right, right, right. Let the women, let the women do the plumbing jobs that they so all desire to do. And building fucking houses. Women desire to build houses, right? We all still love doing that hard work that requires muscle, right? We love doing that. Mm, 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 mm. Fucking love doing that. Dude, I love uh, putting bricks up to make a fucking wall or whatever. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brain damaged. This is giving me brain damage. I'm enough looking for diamonds in Minecraft. <laughs> Even if the women make the windows we know for a fact it will match the curtains. <laughs> you got a point! You got a point, my bad! Most women can find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there. And speaking as a man, most of us are horrid to be around, and I don't blame any woman for just saying, no thanks. You could literally say the same about women. Like, you could literally just flip the entire argument around and it would still be the same. Uh, women are awful too, what do you mean? Men are awful, women are awful, people are awful in general! What a self-hating insult, actually though! Like, what the fuck? Yeah, most people are hard to be around, yeah? Like, it's not a man or woman issue, it's people. It's all of us. It's all toys are made. <laughs> I make the worst jokes, no sushi. If Minecraft taught us one thing, it's that children yearn for coal mines. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> if only people knew about not needing other people, surely people would stop interacting with people since people are so hard to be around. But people can just deny other people given people are, are the blight upon this- I'm not gonna lie the sentence at people so many times that I didn't understand it. And that's on me. I'm the smooth brain. Oh my god, dude. This is what every just pearly things tweet looks like to me. Just with the gender swapped. This is pathetic. Yeah. You know what fixes male loneliness? Jerking off. As huh? a man, I'll say this. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait. Wait, 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 what? This is pathetic. You know what fixes male loneliness? Jerking off. Since it's continuous, okay? <laughs> With the realization that slapping human flesh together isn't worth it. Oh! <laughs> Embrace disease and unwanted pregnancy! There's methods to prevent that? Also, attaching yourself to another of your child for the rest of your life. Get a hobby. There's ways to prevent pregnancy? I mean, if you don't like sex, you don't like sex, right? But like, how the fuck would that solve me loneliness? i be lonely, what do you mean? I'm, I'm sure that the lonely males are still jerking off. Like, what do you mean? It, I like cuddle. I used to solve my loneliness problem by beating my shmeet. Had to stop due to unwanted pregnancy, though. <laughs> oh, the good man. Well, you told them to fuck off. Legit! Actually, <laughs> unknown issues where I'm at. Following a certain series of events, they uh, kind of not exist. Oh, what the fuck, Moon? <laughs> Who's jerking off where? Me, 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 me. <laughs> Only watching only jack off guys! Not live on Twitch! <laughs> Get a room! Wrong platform! Go to Orange YouTube! <laughs> As a man, I'll say this. Sit down, shut up, and beat one out. 
You'll feel better. I promise. Yeah, I guys. mean, just be one out. Just like, yes, you'll feel better. Like literally, that's. Yo, you're lonely? You don't have a girlfriend? You don't have any friends? Just fucking rub one off. <laughs> it's gonna make you feel better for like a minute and then you're back to being lonely. So just keep doing it. You're lonely, don't me. <laughs> that person's quite strange, yes. You're lonely called the homie? Like booty kinda cold, booty cold, home, home. <laughs> Hi Sherlock, what's up? I think Sherlock is concerned about me laughing so much. Hold the homie, we're playing Minecraft. Oh, yo! Let's get some diamonds. How did we go there actually? <laughs> and get a throw and just become the girlfriend. Hey yo! You got a point. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> Go off, just watch porn. Batman will be very disappointed in all of you. It's so funny how men feel entitled to a girlfriend. No, you sexist freak. Wait, what? Hey, 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 chat, chat, chat. Chat. Are you guys feeling entitled to a girlfriend? Y'all feeling entitled to a girlfriend, chat? <laughs> yes, are you? No? No, I don't feel tired to go for it. No, I want a man. No, man. No. What's a girlfriend? Man. <laughs> I want toys. Yes, I have a penis. So women must sleep with me. Yes. Correct. That's the correct answer. But it be a gift to every woman's smile. Most the only man in my life. If I felt entitled, I wouldn't have separated from my ex. <laughs> Shirtless, prepared, or better PoE drops, of course. What's better than a relationship? Half of exile. <laughs> Relationships are temporary. Gaming is forever. <laughs> so everybody think it'd be nice to not. With her alone, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I may know. <laughs> Sorry, all I'm a virgin. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. What's better than a relationship? Genocide. In Undertale, right? Undertale. Genocide route, right? Right? Kids is everyone's girlfriend, real? <laughs> what? After 11 years of relationship, I'd rather be entitled to freedom, not sex. Oh, ooh, based. <laughs> I don't think I've had skin to skin contact in at least three years. So, you, you saying your mom d didn't hug you for three years? Is that what you're saying, Potato? I have a question. Do we need women when we live in the age of real life anime waifus? Honestly, you are absolutely right. Why why do you need women when we have VTubers nowadays? Like what the fuck? You're lonely, you just watch your VTuber. Bro, easy. Fixer 2 comes out soon, girlfriend not required anymore. <laughs> Let me fix it. Women are underrated. Our Siri has more boobs than real women, therefore superior. Who? Is that some Path of Exile character? Prostitution is legal here. Hey, yo. Not even my mom hugged me for three years. Ah, pain. I'm just kidding. It's sexual contact play Path of Exile. Did you love life of This is the YouTube. Why do we need men's pee, pee if we have rubber schlocks? Hop on Lee, you will be fucked in at least three directions. Yes! <laughs> it's 100% guaranteed to not disappoint. What if it breaks? What if your rubber toy breaks, though? Then you're disappointed, right? 
That was close enough. I'd hug you right now. Aww. I can tell you, PoE2 is happening. Can't say the same for women's sequel. <laughs> First time this is fucking a big scratch. Hey! I'm on the. Oh, <laughs> oh I hate. <laughs> If women are so good, boys is women too? <laughs> Don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> no, 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 as the treat said. Even jerking off gets you pregnant now, so... Duh. When one side is like, wanting a girlfriend is sexist entitlement, and the other side is like, here's how to get a girlfriend. I don't, I don't know, bro. What happened to males just kicking the bucket? Huh? Now they just come on here and try to make their loneliness and misery into some social justice issue. Oh, trust me, men are still kicking the bucket. Oh, well, they're not giving mind blowing. No, 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 man just stopped dying. Man just stopped dying. Man just lived forever, apparently, guys. It's like just to be a liberal. They're outright dismissing men's issues completely. It's not our job to educate them. Since men created the problem, they need to take steps to fix it. We have other things to care about. Men can figure out their own problems that they created. Again, it's not women's jobs to change how men are socialized. It's a man issue and y'all need to address that amongst yourselves. Okay, so women literally saying, no, I don't want to talk to you because of no reason whatsoever is a man's issue, right? Like, come again? Like, yeah, imagine I'm saying that to a woman. Like, imagine, literally, turn this around, and the person will be called sexist. But this, this isn't sexism. No, 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 this isn't sexism. I'm gonna quote a song here. I make sure to wear a condom because my sperm is so famous it will make you pregnant and you bum. I would say please don't demonet uh, demonetize me, YouTube, but I'm not even monetized yet, so we go cheat! If I don't talk to my female colleagues at work, they might get preggo from talking to me! <laughs> would beat me if I said that to a woman! <laughs> That's really so very famous. Men created their own problems. Men can solve their own problems. The Hello. left is busy. Why does the well-being of other people concern me? Yeah. Leftist, by the way. It's all systemic issues and societal factors and blah 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 until it's a man and then suddenly it's pull yourself have up that? by your bootstraps. This problem is just a consequence of the patriarchy. Now take a wild guess about which gender created the patriarchy. Solve your own problems and leave women alone. These the patriarchy that's in fold. The patriarchy, I tell you. It's a patriarchy. That's why men are lonely. The patriarchy, guys. Oh. Hey, you just you just don't know anymore, man. These people totally rightly right mock the bootstraps rhetoric until the subject is a man, and then it's bootstraps. All the way down. They would never talk about any other group this way. It's wild. And it's kind of like both sides are telling men to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. But one is like, I'll show you how. And the other is like, fuck off. And when they're not telling men to straight up fuck off, they're giving the 200 IQ answer that nobody has ever heard before. Just show your emotions, bro. And I'm not dismissing this problem, okay? I've, I've made videos talking about this. Oh, you're and then, as we saw in the last video, but if the man is too emotional, that's gay. <laughs> Apparently, that's gay. They, uh, God damn. Oh my god, I, I just can't. Don't show emotion. I guarantee that. Oof. Like, oh, now he's boring, and that's too gay, and like, don't want to be with him anymore, like, ugh. Want to cure for loneliness? Just be gay. <laughs> that would solve everything for you guys, come on! You could just be with each other! You wouldn't need women! Like, ugh. Why would you want women? And books for men? 
if the homie agrees with NK. Hey, if you got socks on it, NK, right? At least that's what I heard. I wouldn't know. Don't have a penis. How dare you show love in a fiction, man? It's so fucking disgusting. Don't make me vomit. Crying at your grandfather's funeral? Okay, f it. And studies have shown that men are scared to be vulnerable, even around the homies. And can you blame them when the media says stupid like this? Fellas, is it woke? Study finds three quarters of tradesmen discuss their feelings with colleagues, while two thirds shun the fried breakfasts, and nearly half say they are history buffs. What? What? To open up to your fellow men and discuss history. Yeah, that's so gay. to believe strength, dominance, and stoicism are behaviors of a real man. Is it any surprise that men are lonely and have less friends nowadays? You have to be vulnerable to make friends. Don't tell me there aren't systemic problems affecting men. Now, while a lot of this may be true, men have been socialized this way for centuries, and this is all relatively a new phenomenon. Toxic masculinity has existed forever. If anything, yes. there's less toxic masculinity nowadays. The cultural embrace of like gender nonconformity, femboys, Harry Styles in a dress, Barbie movie, blah, 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 blah. My point is- Harry Styles in a dress! Let's go! At the Bobby movie is hella amazing. Ah, uh, boys! This is the Our Men Okay video. Uh, this is the male loneliness epidemic. Harry Styles mentioned neuroactivation. <laughs> Masculinity did not just appear in the mid 2010s, but social media did, and the internet did, and the rise of dating apps did, and the housing crisis. Sorry, I kind of zoned out on that one. The only toxic masculinity I know is my homies encouraging me and patting me on the back at the gym. Oh, I would marry Shu if she wasn't already married. <laughs> she, uh, is she the female version of Keemstar? Uh, I wouldn't say so. No, 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 no. Keemstar is awful. Keemstar is awful. Shu makes top content. My point is, toxic masculinity did not just appear in the mid-2010s, but social media did, and the internet did, and yeah. the rise of dating apps did, and yes. the housing crisis, and yes. living in a country where the wealth housing crisis. Bruh, housing crisis. Sorry, my bad. I was still in the room when I was supposed to be saving up for a house. <laughs> my bad. My bad I was still, like, forming and growing cells to become, an, like, a baby. <laughs> my bad. Shoe supremacy takes off shoes and lifts it into the air. Yes! ...reality <laughs> is worse than it was during the Gilded Age. That all happened recently. Oh my god, the privileged life these poor little boys must have that their biggest problem is being lonely, i.e. so insufferable that nobody wants to sleep with them. Huh? It's so much more pressing than the poor distribution of wealth causing people to suffer food and housing insecurity. Food. She did not just say that, or he, or they. What? Times where buying a house and living from your income even haven't had these times and I'm more fucking... I was still an Adam and not getting to finance. Yes, my bad. Been saving since you were sperm. Yep, 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 yep. I should have been saving since then. Balance and chew on had my life too. <laughs> what? I... What? What are you saying? Ooh, you're lonely and have no friends and are so Because feeling alienated under capitalism apparently isn't a thing. People are working nah. harder and longer while wages have been stagnant. Men have been oh, dropping out of college Jonesy. like flies. And what does that get you? Poor men. Which, since women are doing amazing in college now, and many are now out-earning men, this most of the time leads to single men, which then leads to and you know why? Because women still want a man who makes more money than them. But no, they aren't earning them. And since a man can't make more money, it's the man's fault. It's the man's fault. It's the man's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the woman's fault. It's not the woman not wanting anything to do with a man. No, 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 no. No double standards. Nothing. It's not women. It's the women. Women aren't the issue. Guys, we are holy. What are you saying? It's a rage is building. <laughs> Slowly but surely. 
slowly but surely the reason why I hate women is showing. Feminism disappears as soon as that bill hits the tape. Legit! Legit! Why the aliens haven't come here? They're too afraid. <laughs> well, right now, but like, me and my girlfriend, I had to make a deal with the seller, so we bought a house at 200k dollars instead of the original season. Jesus! Holy shit, still. Six figure salary by 21, legit. Yep, 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 yep. It says they drive by Earth. Yeah. Want nothing to do with Earth. Honestly, I wouldn't want anything to do with Earth either at the moment. Lonely men. Which leads to depressed men. Which Whoa. leads to the high suicide rate. In my opinion, leftism at no a way. policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing. But then absolutely drops the ball when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left oh, appears yeah. actively yeah. hostile? Thank you for the follow! Oh, Hanky! Thanks for the follow, Fat! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Also, just slowly zone down to get on that sentence. What the fuck, brain? The problems that men are facing. But then absolutely drops the ball when it comes to everything and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not the hashtag online left is enough to appeal to hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like, hashtag. men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics at me? Men do the most murder, okay? They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. They like that. They, they want it to stay that way because it suits them. Because huh? of the stuff, telling people what? they're special and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's going to be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than huh? like saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Leftism is what? when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're going to take your stuff. You sound like a 65 year old Fox News boomers idea of what the left is. Are you a CIA agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong, Republicans will not do- Yeah, eyeshadow's not lettering, it really isn't. It really is not. Actually, I read 20 years ago, the biggest single groups of baby murders in the US were women. Ah yes, a statistics game is always fun. The amount? Can I speak one sentence without things being thrown at my head? <laughs> oh, I forgot what I wanted to say! Damn it! Shit. The Republican Party will not do shit. The establishment in general will not do shit to help any of this. But the right is at least rhetorically offering men something other than nothing or the eternal HR department. Every time this discord comes up, there's people like, we need a leftist Andrew Tate. We need masculine role models what? on the left. But the fact what? is it's hard for progressives to organically appeal to men because a large part of progressivism is oppressive hierarchy and men are oppressors. Making progressivism look appealing to young men is an uphill battle from the start. And although it's funny to laugh at insane people on Twitter, as always, there've been a lot of left-wing content creators talking about men's issues. If you would have told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because yeah. anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pick me. But lately I have seen a lot of good pro men lefty content and I'll put some links to some below. I don't Bye bye. Thank you for dropping by. Good night. Take care of yourself. I don't agree with all the points they say but I recommend watching. It's much better than they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But the issue is a lot of they like all of the stuff they don't they like having all of the stuff that they don't deserve. I'm... My brain is rotting the more I think about that sentence. What? 
of this lefty pro-men content, it's always framed around how do we get them? As if men are just pawns and tools for your personal politics. How do we make the left more appealing to men? How do we- That's legit like, uh, why, why, why? I've said that so many times already this video long. Why does male loneliness need to be a political issue? It's not a political issue. It's a world issue. Men are lonely because women are awful. Not that there's not awful men around, right? But men are lonely. And not only because awful women. It's, it's just how it is in 2024 with all the internet, with the pandemic happening. With how accessible everything online is. Like, why the fuck would we ever want to go out anymore? We are legit gonna end up like it is in Wall E. Fat in in space riding those stupid little pods around like <laughs> i'm gonna deserve first because i don't think women should get rich by only fans that deserved but that is one issue of men having to stop paying and something <sighs> uh should get rich by OnlyFans. Oof. Okay, I'm I'm personally not a fan of OnlyFans, right? Like legit, not a fan at all of anything like OnlyFans, fancy whatever. Like selling your body for money. I'm I am absolutely not for it. It's uh, if they deserve the money they make for only fans i don't even think we can put deserve into that sentence really like because you have a more than like higher than average good looking body you deserve money no no Don't give it to refugees or be a homo or else you're racist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, don't forget you can't be racist towards white people. Ugh. I swear if anyone comes at me for saying that now, I'm gonna I'm fight you. I'm gonna fist fight you because you absolutely can't be racist towards white people. You can't be racist towards white people because white people invented racism. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right now. We stop lonely men from moving to Andrew Tate instead of just how do we help men? And I think that's a really big issue. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war yeah. and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And, and while front it doesn't yeah, 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 affect yeah, cis sure. men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh. Uh, Y'all talking huh. about misandry doesn't harm men, and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. I see, now we only care what? about misandry because it affects trans men. What? Everyone stop! It's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just, like, evolved overnight, from male tears to cis male tears. And I just have to ask, why aren't you including trans men in your misandry, hmm? Nobody told me how... Um, let me go back, back to this, like... What could talk the more I love it? Not in a parasocial way, don't worry. <laughs> um. Yeah, right. Like, if you're a white, cis, male, don't even comment on this tweet. I will block you. The amount of times I've seen that on Twitter, on any topic, if anyone, like, legit, if anyone says that on Twitter, when I see a Twitter post like that, I just block that person. I don't want to see anything like that. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, you this is white male and you can't have an opinion on this. Thank you. That's for the follow. Kitsu, we invented it, so it can't be used against us. Obvious joke, don't come for me, Kitsu, please, question mark. <laughs> Sadly, they are teaching that. Oh, I heard the US school system teaches that white people invented slavery and racism. They actually do not know that everyone was a slave at one point in time. Ugh. 
The US, the US, US. Why? Why can't you just teach facts? Why can't the US just teach facts? How hard is it? Just write a book based on facts. Hard to comprehend for me as a European. Same. Like, like, what the fuck? Just facts of its feelings. <laughs> right, I forgot. Shit, my bad. My bad. What? Oh, oh, my brain hurts. Lonely. Being a man is. We knew what death, death oh my god. felt like before. Oh my god, isn't that. Isn't that person. Like, don't want to assume or anything, but I think that person was, is trans? Or am I wrong? Like, I think I've seen the person. Trans men in your misandry. I'm right? Mm -hmm. Nobody told me how. Yeah. Lonely. Being a man is. We knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us and to have a community. And then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you. And friendships are so much harder to build. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men all of that's valid but i also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men welcome to being a man here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow i love how that's so sad man that's actually so sad like you can hear how hurt he is on his voice yeah <laughs> complimentary yellow pillow <laughs> oh that is so sad. I feel bad for you guys, man. Oh. Y'all need a hug. Y'all want a hug? Yeah, I think y'all need a hug. She was a feminist who lived as a man for one and a half years because she believed men have it so easy. She stopped after one and a half years instead of going through the whole two years, years later. She killed herself the self-made man was a cult, I think. I think I heard about that, actually. I didn't hear that she killed herself, but I heard about the other part. Check, can I get a hug? Aww. No, you get multiple. Aww. There was a name, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. Oh, even when he's experiencing the issues of being a man, he's like, this doesn't invalidate people hating men. Come on, bro. Men struggling like, don't want to come be on. about the patriarchy. They don't want to be told it's all their fault. They don't want to be told ah. Because first of all... Galactic Corex just cheered five bits. Five. Can I have a hug from Kit? Five. XD. Here, have a hug. <laughs> well, they're not. The average 20 year old didn't build society. They go to work, come home, f off to sissy hypno fetish porn, and go to bed like everyone else. I've talked about this before, but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 obviously. And if they have nobody to provide for, they get into findom or send random girls on the internet money. I'm just kidding. Oh the my fact God. is, a lot of men oh my God. simply feel like they don't have a purpose anymore. Whether a job or a career that's fulfilling and pays. I, f I fear and I dread asking this question, guys. Chat, do you feel like you have a purpose? That's why I stopped to. It was a love. Oh. Nope. 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 Not at all. Oh. Yep. Twenty twenty four, everyone. Twenty twenty four. It's not like 
to be honest, it's not only a male thing. Hey, it's it's a people thing again. Like both like both men and women have that because I don't fucking feel like I have a purpose, bro. Like I I have a huge fear of death as in like just like dying at one point and like being gone. Ugh, that's a whole Wow. <laughs> that's a topic for my therapist then. <laughs> yes, to watch kids' streams. Ah <laughs> You smooth criminal. I have cats as long as they're here, yes, after them. Eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. My cats as well. Need to take care of them. My poor, poor babies. Society has moved where no one has a purpose except work more and climb corporal ladder. Yeah. Hey! We love 2024! As well, or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for. Men are lacking purpose, and a man will crawl through broken glass for a purpose. But you know oh, what yeah. does make them feel like they have a purpose? No, 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 not him. I say that life as a man is extremely oh, difficult. Of course. The most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity. I mean. <laughs> Yes, Andrew Tate makes them feel like they have a purpose. It's so sad that it's true. But he's like making these teens feel like it's worth living and that you have a value on like other people telling you that you have no value when you have a value to begin with. Ah! I drop that the second the life affected more cats. No, I'm not alone. I have friends and family, and yes, they feel the loss. I just got to depend on. I feel that. I always ask myself who might be first if I died at my home. My neighbors because of the smell, or my boss because they don't pick up the phone. <laughs> um, I'd say your boss. A body smell can take very long to pick up to get out to the neighbors. Comic rumbled there, what the fuck? It's much worse than Jesus, yep! Capacity ...to act shocked that Andrew Tate is scooping these guys up after a decade of low male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems, but he is talking to them. The fact is, you did not care about them for years, and even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up. Wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. <laughs> yeah, I listen to her. Loneliness has been increasing. What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye. We love Shu. She's so true. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a head scratcher, though. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's make male loneliness. Political issue. She is a real one. Yep, 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 yep.